Hey guys, and welcome to the final part of the co op playthrough for Portal 2. Run. You'll soon be rid of us. Ready to make great test subjects. <laughs> Again, see you, see you, Lauren, you probably could make a good GLaDOS if we just digitised your voice. Thank you. <laughs> that would be fun. I imagine you got offered to... No, I, I might... Well, I imagine this won't be possible now, but if you, if you remember back in, you know, school days, we used to do, we used to do, like, you know, school school plays, and well, mostly it was, like, Jesus or Christmas and stuff like that. <laughs> imagine they've decided to do one with Portal, and then you were chosen to do the voice behind the scenes. <laughs> I would be quite happy with that because there would be no real acting required. <laughs> well, there is acting. You're using your voice. I would be pretending to be GLaDOS. There would be no real acting required. Well, the thing about GLaDOS is that she doesn't sound robotic. She sounds a bit human, like she's able to give personality and not mm -hmm. just a blank robot's voice, if you know what I mean. Traditional. And we share a lot of personality traits, so we're fine. And sarcasm. <laughs> right, this one is a little bit tricky. You need to launch yourself all the way across to this portal and then launch the portal. <laughs> Basically, one person with the cube has to fly all the way across. But Not as soon as we hit the grids, yeah, we're the like disappears. Yes, yeah, and there's so a turret there and I'm stuck. <laughs> we had to well, I had to try and figure this out. Catch him with the portal. And what does she do? She presses the wrong portal. And I say, screw it. <laughs> so he goes for a swim. Yeah. So at this point, I feel, okay, let's think about this. If I, we need to find a way to shut off the excavation grid. Or we need a way to catch the cube in midair. There we go. Uh, crap. I'm stuck. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. But it's okay because you hung on to the cube. Aye, but I'm not moving because, again, we need this cube and I need to get back. Mm-hmm. So I had to try and use momentum. catch him with the momentum. Oh yeah. Oh, but first we need to destroy the turrets so we can use this. Meanwhile, I'm I'm flipping upside down and everything. <laughs> <laughs> you know. But I, he did manage to take out the turrets. So again, every, every time I take out the turrets in my head, I'm always doing this evil maniacal laughter. <laughs> 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 Every time I destroy them. <laughs> yeah, so he took out the turrets and we had to decide what to do with them next. Oh, mad! Imagine if I didn't hit that wall and I went right past you and threw into the acid. <laughs> well, that was I a good. Laugh. Well, that was like a really timed portal place there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so there were uh, momentum portals on the other side as well. Mm-hmm. Um. We had to try and figure out those. Yeah, build up momentum. That's why I figured out, okay, we need to use that ramp. So if I launch myself off that ramp and you shoot those portals in those corners, I should be able to fly across to the opposite side of the room. Mm-hmm. But I wanted to come through for a little nosy, so... And away I go. And we're there. But I can't go anywhere just yet because the grids will cancel out my portals. will cancel portals. your portals, so I had to replace them. Now you can go. Right through the door. <laughs> the door was too slow. <laughs> if the door would be quicker, I would have been straight no, through there. I, realistically, you would have bashed the door and you would have gone on roller poly with the door. <laughs> True. Two more tests, folks. She lies. <laughs> she lies. <laughs> oh, I remember this one. This one was another tr confusing one. Because there's basically there's two switches, folks, but we didn't realize this until later on where we actually have to use the orange gel so that, because you see how far the switches are apart, you use the orange gel on the floor to speed yourself to get to that other switch in time. Because the one switch activates the platforms, but there's also another one that activates the cube, and mm -hmm. they're timed. So you have to time them quickly. Yes, so that took us a little bit of practice. It's only because I didn't realise that you can actually shoot the gel on the floor and I can use that to go straight across the opposite side of the room and press the switch mm -hmm. and quickly get the, the cube for you. So we had a few failed attempts before we got this right. Yeah, I think this was another 25 minute one we had to <laughs> take a look at. <laughs> but hopefully Andrew's cut out all that padding for this. Hopefully. Yeah, looks like I proved it. <laughs> <laughs> 
this is where I realised, oh yeah, we can use this. That way, there we go, I can now get to the switch on the opposite side quickly. Mm -hmm. And this is where I was going to, I think I tested it out here, just to see if it worked. Because we had several um, mm -hmm. failed attempts, but Aye. it was, damn it, so close. Aye. And there we go, one, and now I can get to both switches and make all my way back very quickly. Mm -hmm. So that's where I'm like, okay, now we're getting somewhere. But you wanted some more gel, just in mm -hmm. case. Hey, don't you think about, when you think about it, orange and blue, I am blue. I hadn't considered that before. <laughs> <laughs> Your mind works weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks, I'll take that as an insult. No, no, it's a compliment. <laughs> Right, first okay, you so build up your momentum first. I activate the switch as you fly to create the platforms. Oh yeah, that's right, I have to shoot the portal and then zip my way across to get the platform. And then zip back to get the cube. So there was a lot of zipping back and forth. Yep. But I got the cube and I then had to try and make it before the platforms collapsed. Yoink! And then some <laughs> was... unpleasant little gentleman came and stole my cube. <laughs> In case you're worried about that was completely unintentional. I was like, okay, I'll take it. <laughs> That's my companion cube. Bring it back. It doesn't have a love heart. It just means that my companion cube is heartless. Like you? <laughs> we make a very good team. It wouldn't be my companion cube otherwise. Don't take it serious. I'm only winding you up. <laughs> Hello, I'm nice queen. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep, <laughs> that's exactly what you said. <laughs> that is. Because you're you absolutely. You steal my cube, I steal your head. <laughs> except no substitutions. She means business. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I'll accept heads as substitutions. But... <laughs> Here we are, folks. The last test chamber, and this is a really long one. So get comfortable. <laughs> Well, first of all, we have to take care of this turret. <laughs> yes. Because I stupidly walk. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're actually doing very well, considering that we used to be calculators. Yeah. <laughs> our, our cores were taken from calculators. Mm hmm So, first of all, we need to jump across to this side. Just time your jumps just right, and I'm sure you won't fall in the acid. <laughs> For once, you are correct. <laughs> And there was me thinking, okay, one minute, what, what's going on here? So, uh, we found buttons to press and we pressed them. Uh, and there was me thinking, there's the the orange gel, so we need that. Press the button again, fly across. Nope. <laughs> I don't think we got that one quite right. <laughs> it's to it's to create. This is where you need to use both gels, folks. Where you need to use the orange gel to create the entire floor to increase your speed, but also add the blue one to give you a little bit of an extra jump. But of course, with the grids in the way, we couldn't get our portals the way we, we wanted them we to start that. with. But we um, figured it out. Yeah, so we got you. there. There we go. Yeah, it's best mm -hmm. to use both sides so you can cover the entire thing. Because that blue gel that's falling, that's one of those times where it's constantly falling. So no matter what, there will be a blue gel there. Mm -hmm. So there we go. There's our speed and ramp with a jump. So yes, you have to you have to jump when you get the moment you hit that blue platform. Otherwise, you will fall. And you have to get your aim right. And I was <laughs> I was so close to being um, <laughs> off targets there. I landed on the railing. And this is where that's Glass is trying to trick you, but then you realise, oh yeah, white surfaces, portals. So we figured that one out as well. And then we went for a little wander on these walkways, trying to figure out what we were supposed to do. Uh, and then we realised, and then we realised there's a momentum one down here at the very edge. And here's you trying to push me off, <laughs> you monster. Well, wasn't really trying. I mean, I sort of succeeded. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you were just waiting for me to not fire the portal. I was thinking that you would be too busy um, shouting at me to fire the portal, <laughs> but no, you were too calm. Right, you see that big red circular door, to, folks? That's the end game. But you can That's see. That's the vault that we need to unlock. Mm -hmm. But first, we need to. There's two separate puzzles we need to get to, in order to get the gels that we need. There's one for the repulsion gel, and there's one for the propulsion. 
yes, I know they sound similar, but it's a tongue twister, but that's what they call folks. We've got the bouncy stuff and the fast stuff. Yes. <laughs> so this is how you get the, the the first one we decided to get was the orange gel, so we can get because usually we, it's best to it's like kind of like it's like paint in general. We cover one in that car, then you put the other car on top. Because if we went ahead and put the jump one first, and then the speed one cross, it would have covered it anyway. So. Mm -hmm. Although I did not know that at this point, being the first time I had run it through. So mm -hmm. if I had been with somebody who hadn't played it before, we may well have gone left and then had to start over for this one. <laughs> in this case, if you were playing this with your brother. Uh, I don't know. I think he probably would have got it. <laughs> He's an engineer for a reason. <laughs> ah. So this is where you need to use, you see the cube here folks, you grab the cube, well the cube's not going to slide, you need to put orange gel to make it slide towards you. Because that's not the thing about when the cube's actually in the, in the, it happened in the single player, but here it happens again folks. If the cube is covered in say the blue gel, it will bounce around all over the place, but if it's covered in orange gel, it will slide all over the place. Mm-hmm. So there we go, that's it covered, and it should come to me. There we are. There's the cube. So now we've got a lovely slippery cube. Aye. But then we need to press that on the button on the opposite side of the top platform. And on that one, well, not actually, actually, it will. the button's on a slide slope, but this will help it slide down. Mm-hmm. So the, the slide's here. So it will do what we'll do is it will deactivate the um, the lasers temporarily for us to to create top platforms, folks. And then Lauren and I will have to run to to the opposite side before the platforms collapse and pull the switches to activate the orange gel for that end game for the vault. And once again, he stole my cube. <laughs> so this is where I'm like, run, 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 <laughs> run. <laughs> pull the switches, and down we go. Dinner so. time! <laughs> so. um, that's us unlocked one of the locks for the doors. And what that will do is it will constantly spill orange gel onto the floor for you. So now we're on to the last bit of this puzzle. <laughs> there was there was a little, of, um, little bit of uh, mix up there. Yeah. <laughs> we both wanted to be the one to put portals in. Yep. Without so communicating. This one took a lot to figure out if I remember. Um, I managed to fall a fair few times in this one as well. Uh, but then I remember there's turrets here and I'm like, crap. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <So. laughs> Even with gel, I'm not <laughs> safe. <laughs> Fun fact, actually, if you remember in the single player campaign, folks, there was one turret you had to save and then out of nowhere it gives you a random speech about Prometheus. I don't remember that one. <laughs> yeah, so. in, the play in the playthrough, actually. And it says, like, Prometheus was banished by the gods and all that. Mm -hmm. So this is what you have to do, folks, to get rid of the turrets. Use the blue gel, use the excursion funnels, fly across above the turrets, and let it drop. And watch them bounce. Because they don't cope very well when they're bouncing, funnily enough. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine if all of that can you imagine all that one of the, and the bullets are flying around and you still get hit? <laughs> <laughs> that would be just our luck, wouldn't it? <laughs> well, in this case, if you were to, if you were the head of Aperture Science, you'd probably replace the bullets with arrows. Um. Well, bullets are more dis disposable. But ar but arrows would travel further. Mm, that's also debatable. It depends on. Many, many factories. <laughs> <laughs> and down I go. Onto this platform. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> this is where Damn it, Andrew, you had one job. <laughs> yeah. This is where the phys Havoc's phys physics come into play. But then, again, this one was a little bit of a trouble because, again, it's a mix... Like, what that button does, folks, is that you see the... the it flips the wall up on the top to make a white panel. And that's where you need to use the excursion funnel, but for but somehow you need to get build enough height so you can launch onto that portal, onto that excursion funnel. Sorry. So that took us a little bit of working out as well. Aye, um, but then I figured until we out, figured out that we could get momentum from from that portal. Above. Aye, 
because there's also a white surface down there, so you can use that to gain the momentum and then bounce up. There's me telling you where to put the portal so that I can stay on the button and create the funnel for you. So that I can do the fun bits for a change. <laughs> yep. And Andrew can coordinate yes. from the safety yeah, of that little corner. More like supervising. <laughs> <laughs> and off you go. That's my portal's ready. I keep standing off the damn button. There's me getting confused a little bit because the thing about the co-op playthrough, because you're split screen folks, it doesn't show you the colour on your portal device that tells you what was the last portal you shot out. And there you go. So made up eventually and then had to figure out how Andrew was going to then make it up as Unless well. Unless there was just a switch up here for you to press, which there is. And we're done! Let's so go. That made that made the blue gel for our running jump. Yep. That's us done. Let's get out of here and save to those injured, crap, cramped, dying humans. So we can get the vault open. Again, we can finally see what's in Bellatrix the Stranger's vault. <laughs> Maybe get the sword of Gryffindor. Oh, I'm not making any comments. <laughs> <laughs> So, ladies first. On you go. And that was a little bit funny. You got stuck on top of the security camera. I did. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but in order to get the vault open, guess what you have to do, folks? Jester. Mm-hmm. So with a high five, it opens. Yep. And would you believe it? This is the actually... This is the... There's only two cutscenes in this playthrough. There's only that, the opening and then there's the outro. That's it. So it was very suspenseful. We were getting very tense. <laughs> oh no! We, we don't believe that it's humans in this vault because yeah, hey, it's Glados. I if you, they already did a similar thing like this in the single player campaign, where it was a big massive door, only to reveal just a tiny little door. <laughs> so I was like, I'm still expecting a cake. <laughs> they what? promised us cake. What type type of cake then? Pink cake. <laughs> what are you saying? Strawberry and coconut. I don't know, pink cake. It, it could be plain cake with just mm -hmm. pink icing. You did it. You really did it. What's that? Clados wasn't lying? <gasps> there really are humans. In a cryogenic state, looks like it. All those test subjects. Yay! All the testing. Oh, great. Happy days. You saved science. <laughs> Like, we did what? <laughs> Let's celebrate with a robot dance. Meanwhile, Glaus is... There we go. Glaus is not happy about it. Yeah, she has enough of us. <gasps> oh. Let the science begin. Oh, well. Well, that's the end of the Portal 2 co-op playthrough, folks. And yeah, this music I put in for you, Lauren. Thank you. <laughs> so, overall... Overall thoughts on the Portal 2 as a whole. What, me? Oh, Aye. sorry, I was distracted you're, by you're music. <laughs> 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 yeah, I think we did a... Well, I think you did a pretty good job, and I think I did a very good job of not getting too much in your way, so... Well, what I meant by that is what you think of the whole game as a whole, like, from your experience along with the co-op playthrough. Um, like, character, gameplay, and all that. Well, I always really enjoy the puzzle ones, because mm -hmm. um, I've been going through The Witness at the moment, um, because, again, it was one of the last month's freebies. Um, puzzles, logic, it just, it it all makes sense, it's quite fun. Okay. And the way that they've done the game as well is pretty cool. As for me, this is probably one of the best games I've ever played, even though it's not a tradition, you know, it's a puzzle game and not everybody's going to get puzzles, and that's fair enough, but I, what strikes me in this game is the sense of humour. It fits my sense of humour since, well, like the whole sarcastic how sarcastic GLaDOS is. I do like GLaDOS, she's like my favourite character in the series. Aye. <laughs> Which is quite bad because she's the main antagonist. Aye. And I'm convinced these names these names we're seeing here, they're all developers. Yeah, it would um, be the developers and the artists and just everybody that worked on the bit on the game I think. So. Aye. <laughs> so, but overall I think Portal 2 co-op has a problem where once you played it once, there's really no need to play it again. Because again, 
the po some again some of the puzzles do drag on it, especially if you don't know what you're doing. But but once you do know what you're doing, you can fly through it quick, pretty quickly, and then once you've completed it, I suppose what we have to do is go back and do the achievements. Aye, but then the achievements are pretty hard to get when you again when you don't you don't have a good ways of communicating with your partner. There, like say, best way would probably split screen, but then again, you, only one person would get that trophy. Mm -hmm. I suppose that is one downside. Uh, I suppose so, yeah. But it's still a really good game. Mm-hmm. But I'm just surprised that up to this day they're still not announced a third game. But then, what's that mean? Valve can't count to three? I haven't actually heard that one. But yeah, it's because. That makes sense. Well, but it's because they made the Half Life series, and then there's still and then there's still no sign of Half Life three or Half Life two episode three. It's been like six, seven years since episode two. Half Life is one that I haven't actually played. Neither have I. But they're in the same universe as Portal. Like Portal's supposed to be years in the future. So is that why it's all like apocalyptic outside? Yeah, and then science took over. Yay, science! <laughs> I was a, bit, a little bit disappointed we didn't get to hear Cave Johnson in, the, in this playthrough. J. 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 John and Jameson. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I still keep getting distracted by this music. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> So there's our so this this is so there we are. That's a Portal 2 co-op playthrough, and that's in the end of Portal 2 as a general, folks. Well, I would just like to take this opportunity to say thank you very much for Andrew for having me on here. I uh, no problem. This has certainly been an experience. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and All hopefully right. you don't hate me too much at the end of it. Oh, of course, I'll never hate you, despite your trolling behaviour in this playthrough with the laser cubes. I resent the use of the phrase trolling, but okay. Aye, those burn scars you gave me. <laughs> I'll, I'll let you slide for now. <laughs> this is more mindless violence than trolling. True. Right, with the end, with that's it, well, that's it for Portal 2. We hope you've enjoyed this, folks, and stay on, be sure to keep an eye on, on the channel for more games in the future. With that, I'm Andrew. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next Let's Play. Did you think I meant you? That would be funny if it weren't so sad. Well, you have been replaced. I don't need anyone now. When I delete you, maybe I'll stop feeling so bad. Go make some new disaster. That's what I'm counting on. You're someone else's problem.